Do you know what's bigger, e or the cube root of 20? I do. Let me explain. What we're going to do is start by considering this function f of x, and it's just going to be 1 over 186 times x minus 1 squared times x minus 2 to the 4 times e to the x. Now, it's pretty clear here that f of x is a non-negative function. Every term here is, you know, positive. x minus 1 squared is always positive, x minus 2 to the 4 is always positive, e to the x is always positive, and so is this 1 over 186. And so therefore, if I integrate this function over any interval, and I'm going to choose 0 to 3, this should be at least 0, in fact, strictly positive. And what is this integral here? Well, I'm not going to go through the details. It's not super exciting. Essentially, you just expand all this out, this polynomial part, and you just need to work out what this integral here is um, for n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this you can kind of just do by parts. It's not super exciting. I actually just plug this into chat GPT. It turns out that this here equals e cubed minus 20. And essentially what we have is that e cubed minus 20 is positive. And so that means that e cubed is bigger than 20. And so that means that e is bigger than the cube root of 20. And that completes our proof. So I've cut out most of the work because it's not super exciting. Uh, but hopefully you do, uh, you do like this result. It's a nice little approximation. I think it's within 0 0.08, something like that. So e cubed is like 20.08, something, something, something. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, do give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Catch you in the next one.